and there's the state line. Welcome to the Deep South, rookie. We've got wetlands, the blues, and the American story, not to mention some of the best hunting you'll find anywhere on this earth. But the floods this year have been worse than ever, and our community is at its breaking point. Camp Haven, the summer camp we worked so hard to open last year, is under threat. If there's one thing I've learned living here, it's that Mississippi Acres folk are resilient. We don't need a savior, just a little extra help. And that's where you come in. Looks like the end of the road. I'm so sorry, but I've actually got to run. I've got a pile of papers I need to grade. I'll call you as soon as I've got a signal, promise. Woo, gotta love that music, my goodness gracious. Add actual cell service to the list of things I miss about Chicago. Oh. Sorry that I'm so short. The old bean city. Right now, but we've got a bit of a situation. Steve Ernie from our flood relief committee was out delivering supplies to elders who couldn't evacuate on time. The levee overtopped and his trunk got totally submerged. Everything scattered. He got away safe, but we don't have the funds to let anything go to waste. Can you go take a look? The water should have mostly receded by now. I'll mark the location on your hunter mate. Thank you. You betcha. My goodness gracious, we've got our first mission here on uh, Mississippi Acres, everybody. Everyone's been looking forward to this. We did a little poll on the BZ Hub community page about uh, what we should be uh, going to next to do some missions and uh, play the Hunter Call of the Wild. And Mississippi Acres was the uh, first on the list, even with Revan Tuli out, which was pretty crazy. So that is what we're going to do. Mississippi Acres got Bob White Quail, got Alligators gonna be an interesting one everyone so if you're excited about this make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it everyone my goodness gracious people just leaving their couches and tables around here uh i've been i've been around here and uh been listening i've seen bob white quail tracks raccoon uh, squalls what do you call those and uh and then the blue fox i believe gray fox blue fox gray fox thieving stuff um which is gonna be pretty cool i think we need to go get that uh that 22 that special 22 that came out with this map i remember that we should uh we should grab that and uh take care of some of the varmints around here maybe huh huh Let's go grab this uh, trunk or whatever it was. I'd even run into a gator somewhere. Ooh. Well, look at that. Got some wild hogs out in the field too. I'm telling you, I do now. I'm starting to remember how much uh, wildlife is truly in Mississippi. It seemed like everywhere you went, you found something. That is what I remember. Oh, okay. I was looking for the other ones. There they are. It's two from what I and a, a freaking fox, gray fox, even little rascal. Yeah, okay. My goodness, is that the trunk up in a freaking tree? How are we supposed to get that? It's in like the swabs that gators around here. Come on now. Yeah, speak of the devil. Look at this dude. If I remember right, what is he? He's a five medium. First, find where they gather. Following the waterway is a good bet. Just well, sure found one right now. Their skulls are thicker than a Mississippi senator's. <laughs> Check the codex field. Politics. All right. So if I remember right, basically, you aimed kind of where the uh, evidently not though. At least if we can get a long shot in there. Okay. Nope. We just messed up altogether. God, I just want him dead now. Die, alligator, die! Oh my God! How many times did we shoot that guy? Oh, we're we're in for a treat, everyone. We're in for a real treat. This is gonna be rough. Oh God! Stuck somewhere over there by those cypress knees. Bingo. Why was he over here? You got everything. Thanks. This is doing us a huge favor. You better believe it. Hey, um. Are the shadows playing tricks, or is that a briefcase I'm seeing on my feed? Let me... let me make a quick call. 
That is definitely a briefcase over there. My new counselor's out where Steve dropped the flood supplies, and there's a briefcase hanging from a tree branch. You know if that's... Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Give me just a sec. She wants to talk to you. Well, Miss Davis has got you out on a fine excursion this time of night. Betty Tackett here. Too. Betty Tackett. Mississippi Delta Big Game Club. Uh -huh. I hate to ask, Sugar, but can you grab the briefcase? Steve's a little ornery and he'll pitch a fit if he don't get his papers back. You'll have to... Well, nothing to it. How in the freaking world are we... Are we supposed to shoot it? Hear that, Mrs. Tackett? You are phenomenal. What happened to that rookie kid I got my hunting license with who couldn't hit a broadside shot on a stationary target? Oh, we're getting some backstory here. We actually know this lady. That's clear. I'm gonna extend you an invite if you keep that up. I'm down for the count since I broke my neck, but Steve will get you an application. Hell, he owes you. Let's, All right, can we pick up the briefcase one. though? We Listening to dialogue, one. wanting to pick up a briefcase. Now, don't be a stranger, y'all. <laughs> Betty's lovely, but she's as southern as all get out, as they say in these parts, with everything that entails. <sighs> just want to pick up a briefcase. Not that I don't believe it's Steve's, it's just I don't see anything suspicious. Let's get those supplies to the people who need them. Sounds good. There's an outpost not far from here. Can you swing by and drop the briefcase and supplies off there? Maybe get your breath back too. You better believe it. We can do that. Wow. Calling me red. Look at this dog. <laughs> we got him. Top notch. I wondered if he would eventually float up. I tell you what, the alligators, they look amazing, don't they? I mean, come on, look at this. Look at that. I don't even know what to call them. Scales? Are these scales? I guess they kind of are, aren't they? What else would they be? That's awesome. Look at that. We were so freaking close. We hit the skull, the flesh. The flesh and skull. We missed the brain by that much. Literally like two inches to the right. Wow. Okay, well, top notch. That's good to know, anyway. Let's see. I'm trying to see where these other shots went. Okay, so yeah, we just weren't. They're quick little buggers. We weren't leading them enough, evidently. But yeah, top notch. First American alligator down. I'll take him. I'll take him. Throw him in the in the keep net. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh god. Oh my goodness. Can you picture alligator nuggets right now? Anyone? I'm sure so. there's got to be some people out there who had them. Oh, goodness gracious. Just thinking about that right now. A little deep, deep fat fried alligator nuggets. Yum, 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 yum. Not even sure what we're tracking now. Not even sure what we're tracking now. That little piggy. Just little piggy. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're here, little piggy. I'm going to be humming that Mississippi tune. <laughs> Forever now. It's going to be great. Black spots. Got that black spots female. Right on, I'll take her. I'll take her, Bjorn, too. Come on, buddy. We gotta go. We see it. There's a peach up in the air. <laughs> gotta go to this uh, place and drop off the supplies, man. You know, I'm sure you could do some pretty good night hunting around here. If you got that night vision scope. Oh, man. That'd be pretty fun. You could go for hogs, raccoons, fox. That'd be great. I think it'd be a lot of fun. We should try that at some point. All right, all right, all right. Finally made it. Finally made it, Bjorn, too. Nice little spotlight out front with the American flag. I dig it. I dig it. Well, we gotta drop off the supplies, and I think we might sleep till morning or something, unless we want to do some night hunting. Table there. I'll let Steve know. On the table. Where exactly is the table? Oh, this is the table. Okay. And interact. So we eat. Can you pull her up on speakerphone? We are living the high life in here. Trouble you for a favor. The boys 
are having a meeting tonight to discuss our flood relief efforts. And it gets real chilly in the evenings this time of year. Well, y usually they get a fire going, but right now, there ain't a single log of dry firewood anywhere in the state. And you know we've got elderly members. Oh, no, not the elderly members. Find a space heater in that outpost where you left the supplies. Could you be a deer and drop it off at our lodge? Yep, we can do that, old Betty Ray. They say nothing is impossible, but I do nothing every day. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. That's, I enjoy a good chuckle. Yeah, I don't want anyone catching hypothermia in freaking Mississippi. Together with the African American Hunting Club, I'm a member of on flood relief efforts. Well, that's cool. We've uh, got some history. Not gonna lie, they weren't super enthusiastic about some transplant from Chicago buying up land and opening a summer camp here. Well... Hey, Betty, and even though I've been coming here since I was little, I get these kids. These kids. I get these kids. The future of the community is what matters. Speaking of, we haven't had enough hands on deck to tend to everyone's needs up until now. So there are a couple of errands around the reserve that still need doing. I'll let you know if you're near somewhere you can help out. Let's head over to the Big Game Club's lodge. Make sure they get the heater before their meeting later on. Yep, totally gonna do that. Um, I think we should grab some, uh, some new gear and uh, gear up to do some hunting at night, everybody. There it is, the old Coleman 22 Hornet. That is what we're gonna be using today. I was looking around for it, I was like, where the freak is this thing? Okay, we got 20, we got some rounds for it. Throw those in here, top notch, should be good then. We also have the Gen Zero uh, 1 to 420 night vision rifle scope, which we're also going to use to try and get some of these raccoons. Golly, seeing all these duck calls makes me, just reminds me of how much I really want ducks to be added to this area. I think it'd be really cool, the swampiness, having ducks fly over. I'm sure we're, it's just a matter of time before it happens. What should we take with us, though? Raccoon Squall. All right, we'll take that. Maybe a Predator Jack Rabbit Collar, maybe. Um, there are turkeys here, which is good to know. There are deer here as well. I am hearing the gators out here. Well, shoot dang, it's just lit up like a bunch of bunch of lightning bugs. Let's see if we can get closer to get a shot in. Oh shoot, there is another guy over here. All right, finally get down to the water's edge and he moved on somewhere else. Well, there he is. What are you doing, you crazy gator? There's two of them. Can't spot either of them. There we go. They look kind of friendly when, they, uh, when they're like this. Oh, I think we might have sailed it right over his head. God, I was trying to get that back of the head there. God. You know, by the end of this, we're going to be just fantastic at shooting these darn gators. I do like this river, though, because if you do travel down, let's see, do travel down, maybe it's right here. There is a pinch point where it's only like a foot and a half deep, and uh, <clears throat> they can't swim through there. They have to uh, they have to walk through it or something like that or they can swim but you can still shoot them um, it's one of the two anyway if you start scaring the gators and they start moving that way you can run to that pinch point and uh, and then they'll be swimming through it and, uh, and you can just shoot them while they're trying to swim through that little pinch point it's kind of crazy uh-huh okay gray fox that's what we're uh, that's one thing we're after look at him just standing there oh my gosh she's so small We got her right in the chest. Put two in her and see what happens. Running across a bridge. Falling over might mean I get eaten by a gator. Alright, this is where the damage be done. See what we can find over here. Did shoot her, but not great shots. However, she still died. Because we're amazing. And there's another one just standing here. You're plagued by rabies. Put them out of their misery. Watch that be a diamond. We just shot it right in the, right in the head. Oh, just level seven. <laughs> hey, we got a lung shot too. I think they were uh, stuck on this uh, this here bridge, but top notch. 
Nice little gray fox. Pretty animal. What in the world? Baron 2, how'd you get way over there? You crazy dog, I'm telling you. One piggy over there. This one's still making a lot of noise right in front of us. We've got a fantastic wind right now. This four, I saw two over there. Okay, there's a four. Golly, why is it so... Is it the fog, you think? Why is it so hard to see stuff? Shoot one into him. See what else we can see. Figure how we got such a bad shot on him. He was running. It's funny, I was hearing some uh, quail. I was thinking, wow, could you imagine? Oh, he shot him in the head. Oh, well, that's what you get for not uh, not knowing what you're shooting at, I suppose. I took a look at the map, and it uh, looks like we're going to have to cross another river to get to where we're going. So I thought we'd stop by and grab this outpost real quick. Have another place to travel to if we need to. And to turn on the lights, obviously. Turn on those stinking lights. Golly. Okay, top notch. Now we can get back to what we were doing. Ooh. Hearing all sorts of stuff around here. Well, look at these guys. Oh. See how those shots do, I guess. <laughs> Tell you what, these roads, these roads have been dangerous for these animals. Um, not by the cars, but by me. You know, road hunting, totally illegal. Well, here's one down anyway. Must not, must not have been that bad of a shot. I think we got the lungs there, right on. Top notch. It's a long shot with that little scope, but we did it. I think Bjorn 2 is telling me that this is where the, uh, the trail ends. Didn't get a good enough shot on him. Not enough blood for Bjorn 2. Golly. See, there's a, there's an old dock over there. Where be the boat for that dock? Ah, a boat. Surely, surely that can take us across. That'd be some really poorly timed, uh, just, just, you know, detail. Just to have some random boat as decoration around here. Alrighty. Nothing like traveling through a swamp at nighttime. We finally made it to the boat, Bjorn 2. Look at this. I think this is actually the camp, Bjorn. Check this place out. Top notch. Got the bug lights. Got the camps. Where are the campers at? Where are the campers at? Look at this little playground. Wow, that's fancy. All right, let's keep going. On the trail of a good-sized raccoon, I think, anyway. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh. We might have gotten there. Second shot, not. Not hitting the dirt. Yeah, we got him. Good deal. Always interesting when you have to aim with your, uh, look at this guy. Blonde colored. Top notch. 10.7 gold there. Little bit better. Little bit better. Top notch. Cool. Love seeing these raccoons around. It's, uh, it's really cool. You have to remember that that was a 23 to 28, though. So that's, uh, getting to the 20s. That's, uh, I bet that's, that's probably, honestly, probably the same weight for, like, a diamond raccoon, too, so. We'll have to remember that. Try to keep that in the back of our brain. Alrighty, got our first lookout tower here. This would be a heck of a place to watch TV, I tell ya. Alright, top notch. So we're, oh, we could go grab this outpost first. Then go to that one, and then finally get to the mission area. Woo, we got a lot of walking ahead of us. All right, Bjorn 2, we're on the hunt again. We're on the hunt for an outpost, but if we see other stuff along the way, heck yeah, man, go for it. Look at all these here log piles. Getting me into a farming simulator mood. I'm gonna go pile up a bunch of logs. All righty, made it to our third outpost here. It's actually quite a bit of swamp around here, so you'd think it would be an all right spot for uh, finding some alligators, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm thinking though, I'm thinking. Let's uh, let's go ahead and change the time here. So that we can do some daytime hunting again. I had to make sure to remember to uh, switch out all my gear so that it's not night vision stuff. Ooh, might have some quail. Might have some quail on our hands. 
Oh, oh. Oh. I swore I saw something drop down. Oh, I did. Aha! Aha! Our first quail, Bob White Quail. Also in Kansas. Top notch. One quail down. Let's we'll see what else we can find. Oh, no, look at him go. Look at him go. Trying to lead it. Top notch. Grab this outpost. My goodness, this is what is this is our third or fourth outpost since we've been here. I think it's our fourth. We just grab an outpost left and right. We're like real estate tycoons over here. We got a nice grill. There's one thing they care about at this house. It isn't the trash. It isn't the, the house, the trailer. It's the grilling. You can tell this is a top-notch grill here. <laughs> All right. Ooh, gated neighborhood and everything. Whoa, fancy Bjorn too. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly how I felt. Just go right around it. Fight the man, Bjorn too. You've got it, man. Here's the lodge. Not gonna lie, I don't make a habit of spending time here. Ha! Ah. I guess check the door. Oh, they got a it's a coded security system. I thought it was just good old fashioned southern hospitality to leave your place unlocked in these parts. But who knows what kinds of valuables they've got in there. Some of the keys are faded. Not the most robust. I was gonna say, system. it looks like one four six zero to me. Zero, one, four, five, and six. Five uh, factorial okay, combinations. Five. That's uh, hundred and twenty, and that's without repeating digits. <laughs> and my students say math is pointless. Yeah, math is pointless. Right? Let's call her. Hey, Mrs. Tackett, sorry to bother you again. My counselor. They got lots of them in there. Bunch of freaking liars. Would you happen to have the key code to hand? Unfortunately, I do not, Miss Davis. I've been out of commission so long with my neck, you understand? Oh, they're up to no good. Does up to no good in here, man. Maybe. I think it's best you just leave the heater outside on the porch there. The boys will be along for the meet shortly. Sure they will. Okay, if that works for you. All the best, Mrs. Tackett. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye now. I don't trust her with a 16-foot pole. She's reluctant to give us the code. She's a bunch of liars. Take a peek inside the window there. Yeah, I'm looking right now. That's three of the same damn heater. I what? I'm taking this heater back. I just trudge through the woods with this thing on my back. A mile. Two miles. No answer. Well, maybe southerners are just super sensitive to the cold. Uh-huh. My mama just huddled up with a blanket, but I guess she was made of sterner stuff than some of these rich folks. I agree. I don't want to think the worst. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt, and I'll mention it to Betty later. Well, Southern Inhospitality, mission complete. <laughs> okay. All the really urgent things are out of the way, but I've got to be honest with you, Rookie. There's another reason you're here. Let me show you what I'm trying to protect. Head over to the Camp Haven bunks and I'll explain on the way. All right, top notch. Time to head to Camp Haven again. <laughs> Hopefully. I think one of our outposts is a lot closer to it, so we should be all right. But right on, everyone. This is going to be episode number one of Mississippi Acres. I hope you uh, enjoyed it thus far. I've been enjoying it. Bjorn, too. You've been enjoying it? Yeah. If you have, hit that like button. And if you're, uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the Bees Hub, make sure you do so. Leave us, uh, leave us a smiley emoji down in the comments if you made it this far. I always like to see who made it to the end. And if you want to check us out in our live stream every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, make sure you do so. Mondays are for the hunter, specifically, whereas Wednesdays are usually fishing games, like Fishing Planet. So make sure you join us in one of those. It's always a really great time. But until the next episode, everyone, take care. And as always, remember, everyone, we're one planet, one family, Game on. Yeah. She always said we should say it, but she always.